Hey guys, Chris Serino here with the Sultana Education Foundation. Thanks for joining us on our virtual classroom here today. I'm here today to talk to you about the Chesapeake Bay watershed. And we're really lucky here to have a giant blown up map of the watershed. So what is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land that drains or sheds its water to a larger body of water. A simpler way to say it is, it's a drainage basin. Okay, so the Chesapeake has a really gigantic drainage basin. What I'm going to do is use the end of this arrow to trace the boundaries of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So here's the bay itself right here, and this is the Delmarva Peninsula. So starting way down here at the tip, the Chesapeake Bay watershed goes kind of right up the middle of the Delmarva Peninsula. This is the eastern boundary here. I'm going way up here, up into the Pocono Mountains. Over here on the western side, we have the Appalachian Mountains. Coming down here almost to North Carolina, but not quite, and then now heading east. Any drop of water that falls within that white line has the potential to end up in the Chesapeake Bay. Now, why is that? Well, it has to do with gravity. If this was a topographical map, the land would rise the further west you go because of the mountain range. And right about where that white line is, is the ridge of those mountains. So right here, the mountains slope this way. So a drop of water that lands on the east side of that boundary line will flow downhill in creeks, rivers, streams, and the groundwater down to the Chesapeake. If a drop of water lands over here, it's still in a watershed. It's just in the Ohio River and ultimately the Mississippi River watershed. So again, the Chesapeake's watershed is gigantic, 64,000 square miles, home to 18 million people, and it includes parts of six states. And to show you those states, I'm going to introduce my friend and colleague, Mr. John Mann. Take it away, John. Thanks, Chris. As we mentioned earlier, there are six states in the District of Columbia within the Chesapeake Bay's watershed. So let's look at where they are. If you want to start at the top of the map, you can see the outline of New York State here, the southern part of the state, and the upper reaches of the Bay's watershed kind of stretch up into Cooperstown, New York. Okay, and then as we come further down, this is Pennsylvania. And so you can see the State of Pennsylvania, about a third of it is within the Chesapeake Bay watershed where those white lines are. As we come further down here, we in Sultana are in Chestertown, Maryland. So here's the borders of Maryland. And you can see most of our state falls within the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Over here we've got Delaware, and you can see about half of the state of Delaware is within the watershed. Their other half of their state goes into the Delaware Bay's watershed. Okay, and then as we come out west, you can see a bit of West Virginia slips in here. Uh, and then a big part of the southern Chesapeake Bay watershed is the state of Virginia. And even part of the eastern shore is also the state of Virginia. So within all those states, there are 18 million people in this watershed. Some of them might not even realize it. Some of them might not ever see the Chesapeake Bay within their entire lives, but every day, their actions have some sort of impact on this body of water. All right, so to wrap up, you guys, the Chesapeake Bay has a gigantic watershed. A watershed is essentially a drainage basin. If you think of a watershed as a bathtub, this would be the rim of the bathtub. Anything that falls inside that ends up in the Chesapeake. Six states, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Western Virginia, Virginia, Delaware, and the District of Columbia, 18 million people, so in order for us to improve the water quality of the Chesapeake Bay, all 18 million of those people in all six of those states need to work together. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you come back and visit us on Sultana's virtual classroom.